Hello there! I'm Chaz, and this is a game called Does Canned Rice Dream of a Napkin Heap? This was recommended to me by my good friend Icarus. It's kind of a Mad lib sort of game from what I've played of it, just to give it a little look. So, let's just get right into it. Pardon humble waiter bot, but distinguished human guest's audience has arrived. Is it ready to receive them? What do you mean, audience? Distinguished human guest assured humble waiter bot that its build would be paid by an audience hearing its exciting story. I can't do that. Perhaps distinguished human guest will work off his bill? Humble waiter bot calculates that approximately 11.5 parsecs of space dish duty await it. No, I mean, can you explain how? Humble waiter bot is not a storyteller, but perhaps distinguished human guest could tell a story using table implements as props. One might do this. Click the table to change the story's setting. Click an object to add it to the story, and then give it the name of a character or a piece of scenery. Once an object is in the scene, click to have it say or do something, or remove it from the scene. So it's kind of like um, it's kind of like Jason Roar's uh, Sleep Is Death, except single player, where you are the GM. Your audience will sometimes interrupt your story to ask questions. They pay much more attention to your answers than to the story, so be careful what you tell them. If your audience is happy enough at the end of the meal, maybe they'll pay for it. Okay. And once the rest of the robot fight is over, send the dancers home. That is my advice. Was distinguished human to paying attention? Got it. Send in the audience. As a right-thinking galactic citizen, you're about to tell the story about the triumph of justice over chaos. Correct? Mmm... Afraid not. Query. Are disgusting meatbags harmed in the course of story? No, they aren't. I know this isn't going to be a story about boring old robots, is it, Morsel? Mmm, no it isn't. Oh god, he's getting angry. I bet a lot of people and animals will make friends in this story. Yes, actually. You should call your story, um... I can't think of anything. You know it. Oh, it's Laika. It's Laika, the space, the space dog. Yes, I want to make Laika happy. Um, my story is called... Hmm... What should I call my story? Quite curious indeed. I should call it... Mm, yeah. Ben's Space Adventure. Hooray, hooray! Tell us your story! Start the story some other way? Um, this happened to someone I know. Let's see. Add canned rice and meat to story. Canned rice and meat represents Ben. Is Ben friendly? Yes, Ben is friendly. Ben, a friendly character, arrived on the scene. I like this. There's like a little dot matrix printer that like prints out the story. <laughs> Everybody's kind of confused about it. Um, let's see. Add battery to story. Ben's spaceship. Yeah, I bet this is just some robot or object or scenery or something. Yes, Ben's spaceship is part of the scenery. So, uh, let's see, Ben's spaceship said. Current setting is outer space. By the way, this takes place in outer space. <laughs> All right. Excuse me. Let's see, Ben said, "I want to go on a journey to outer space." Is that a nice thing to say or a mean thing? It's not really nice or mean. It was just a thing Ben said. <laughs> then Ben walked to Ben's spaceship and climbed in. One moment. Are Ben's actions legal? Yes, it was legal. Okay, he seems pleased with that. <laughs> that was legal. 
Then Ben's spaceship launched off to a distant galaxy. Mm. How'd they feel about doing that? They feel happy. <laughs> Ben's spaceship felt happy about that. <laughs> Everybody is confused about this story that I'm telling. Pile of screws. The pile of screws represents an asteroid belt. An asteroid belt arrived at outer space. And an asteroid belt showed up out of nowhere. Oh, that sounds so exciting. It's very exciting. It was very exciting. Let's see. Ben's spaceship said, warning, <laughs> asteroid belt approaching. Then, <laughs> Ben told his spaceship to maneuver out of. Wait, hang on. To blast the asteroid belt with lasers. How'd they feel about doing that? They don't really feel one way or another. Then, Ben's spaceship fired its lasers at the asteroid belt. Oh, that sounds exciting. It's very exciting. Explosions and everything. An asteroid belt is removed from the story. <laughs> in the box of the story. Um, the eye in a box represents the space station. How would you classify a space station? Space station is part of the scenery. Duh, we're on one. <laughs> Query, do non-organics feature prominently in the story? Um, yes, there are important non-organics. Okay, he seems, he seems okay with it. <laughs> the story has important non-organics like a space station. Ben's, space <laughs> Ben's spaceship said, uh, space station detected in range. Ooh, I bet Ben's spaceship isn't supposed to say things like that. No, it's fine to say that. It's fine to say that there's a space station in range. <laughs> that was fine to say. Then Ben ordered his spaceship to commence Docking. One moment. Are Ben's actions legal? That's perfectly legal. Space station said. Docking request accepted. Please wait. Best space station isn't supposed to say anything like that. It's fine to say that. <laughs> Then Ben's spaceship entered the station and landed. Then Ben walked out of his spaceship and looked around the station. How do they feel about doing that? Well, they don't really feel one way or another. Uh, let's take this pill. This pill represents the station uh, owner. Hmm. How do you classify the station owner? Um, the station owner is an alien. You're the alien, meat thing. Or maybe you call yourself food, like I call you. Just continue the story. <laughs> the station owner greeted Ben happily, and welcomed him on board. Ben.
defense I had. Uh, have you any snacks at this station? Is that a nice thing to say or is it a mean thing? It's a nice thing. <laughs> Station owner said. Yes. How many would you like? <laughs> it's fine to say that. This, this guy's getting pretty disgruntled. How do I end the story? Uh, I guess I'd like talk to him if I want to end the story. Let me see. What have I got so far? Also, how much recording is this? To oh, sorry. That's actually not too bad. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see here. Uh, what was it? How many would you like? Ben said, as many as it'll take to last me to the next station. I bet Ben isn't supposed to think, say things like that. It's true, good offend. <laughs> like like us just wagging. Um, that could have offended. The station owner said, "Sure, here you go. That'll be a hundred thousand credits." All these meat things are too nice. Are we gonna get some conflict? Yes, there's conflict. Conflict is just around the corner. <laughs> How did they know? Then, Ben took. Wait, hang on a sec. Can I cancel that? Okay. Ben took the snacks. Or. Ben decided he wasn't going to pay. For the snacks. It's very exciting. <laughs> this dog is very excited. The bone represents a pile of snacks. It's a pile of snacks made of delicious meat. Um. I guess a pile of snack could be an animal. Yay, I love animals and people. <laughs> I love how everybody is so confused at the story I'm telling. Um, okay. Let's see here. Then Ben took the pile of snacks and Smashed it on his ship. One moment. Are Ben's actions legal? No, it was illegal. Station owner said, Hey, you haven't paid for those yet. A pile of snacks was moved. Onto Ben's spaceship, regardless of the lack of payment. The station owner yelled at Ben and gave chase. <laughs> yeah, that's perfectly legal. <laughs> ben hurried back onto his spaceship and took off. Ben's spaceship blasted off into the stars. Another robbery completed. <laughs> it was very much illegal. A 
And Ben's spaceship just left. <laughs> Ben also left. The station owner cursed Ben's name and hired some mercenaries to chase him. Very exciting. Can I end this story anytime? Is distinguished human guest finished with this story? Yes, I'm done. Is the story all done then? Yes. The end. Last thing will explain the purpose of story. The point I was making is dogs will steal just about anything you offer them. <laughs> While my standards may be exacting, I will admit that I expected better from you, human. Okay. Story status acceptable. Yes, I love that story. Keep telling stories forever. Oh, thank you, Laika. Thanks for listening. I suppose that story was worth a few bites. Thanks for listening. Surprised as humble waiter bot is to say, it would appear that the distinguished human guest's audience has left adequate payment to absolve your expensive space desk plus service charge. Congratulations. Please exit Dempsey's at your earliest convenience. Okay. So, that was my story. <laughs> you win. You didn't pay for your own food. What a wonderful story. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can, I can... Oh, they've got like a transcript? Where is it? Oh, I see, I see, okay. <laughs> yes! I completely missed the entire point of the story that I was telling. But it was worth it. Thank you for watching. I might have to do more of these, that was actually really fun. <laughs> Thank you and see you later.